Hi guys and welcome to the very first video of 2022. That is just so weird to me. Also, I'm sorry you can see me in my mirror back there. I don't really like it, but I have no other angle to put you guys just because of how my room is laid out and it's super small. So, sorry that you guys can see me back there. There's no way for me to really cover it. Today, we are going to be talking about my 2022 goals. I did one of these videos for 2021 as well. I will link it down below for you guys. Um, I actually have those goals right here as well and... I did not meet as many of them as I thought I would, which is so depressing, but it's fine. 2022 is a new year, new goals. We're going to make it happen this year. 2022 is going to be the year. I kind of just wrote these as I thought of them. So they're kind of all over the place, not really sorted into categories or anything. They are just there. And not all of them are like measurable um, some of them aren't super specific, some of them are measurable, some of them are very specific. So I kind of have a wide variety and that's why I have so many because not all of them are like super specific goals. They're just kind of broad. We are just going to dive on into what my goals are for this year. The first couple have to do with my social media. Some of them are like money specific numbers, which I'm not going to say but um, I'll go through the other ones. My first goal is 5,000 Instagram followers, which I feel like is such a big milestone number. And I am a little under 4K right now. I'm at around like 3,950, I think. I've been trying to get more into reels, posting more, taking better pictures, making my feed look nice. So um, I've been working really hard on my Instagram. So hopefully I can hit 5,000 this year. That would be super exciting. I just feel like for me, that's such a big number. My next one is 30,000 TikTok followers. I am a little under 20K right now and I'm at like 19.8. Like I'm so close to 20K. And I've also been trying to up my content on TikTok, make sure I'm posting every day, a couple times a day. And I've been trying to get more into my niche, niche, niche. I don't know what that word is but you guys know what I'm talking about and so I feel like that's been really helping me because um certain videos of my content go viral and others don't I've been trying to learn what my viewers like and going with that so um I'm hoping to see a lot more growth with my TikTok this year the next one is a thousand YouTube subscribers and I as I'm filming this video I'm at 543 but I feel like every time I check I have more subscribers which is just like so crazy exciting to me because I've been working really hard on my YouTube this year I finally have a camera and everything I got a camera um, at the beginning of vlogmas last year so I've been at about a year with this camera I've been pretty consistent so I've been working really hard on my YouTube. YouTube is honestly, for me, the funnest one to do. And I just love doing vlogs and stuff for you guys. And I just really enjoy being on YouTube. So I'd love to be able to grow my channel a lot this year. I have some exciting plans this year. So I'm hoping that will make good YouTube content and help me out there. But super excited to see what happens this year with my channel. The next one is to finish reading through the Bible. My goal last year was to read it in a year and when I came home for summer I just really got out of the habit of reading it because I worked a lot this summer and so I am about like 100 days off from <laughs> reading it. So I'm actually almost done so that for sure will be met this year. I'm in about Ezekiel right now. I'm reading it chronologically so almost done. I'm so close. So um, that is a goal I know I will for sure meet. And my other one is to read my Bible every day, which for me, I don't know why that is so hard for me to do because there's so many things that I do literally every day. And I, whether it's five, 10 minutes or an hour of reading, I just want to do something to get in the word every single day. I've been doing a new devotional. I'm going to grab it for you guys. It's called Seamless and it is understanding the Bible is one complete story and it kind of just lays out the entire Bible and tells you how everything connects. So I've been starting this. I'm going to try to do this every day until I am done with days, obviously. My next one is to create a morning and night routine and stick to it. Because when I was in high school, like I had the morning and night routine nailed down. Like I had such a good routine going for myself and just being organized and having that just makes me feel so much better, has my day go better. And like, it doesn't even have to be anything like crazy. It can be my skincare routine, 
putting on lotion, reading my Bible, making coffee, simple things, just a couple of things that I do every morning and night, like setting up my clothes for the next day, just that sort of thing, just really makes me feel super organized and like I have my life together. The next one is to prioritize my health because I kind of am in the phase where it's like a roller coaster and sometimes I'm meal prepping, I'm working out almost every day and I'm just really on top of it and then like it goes down and I just don't eat as good, I don't work out as often and I just really want to make those good habits to prioritize my health eat cleaner, eat more whole foods, not completely eliminating anything, but just for the most part eating as clean as I can, make sure I'm lifting and stuff, and just prioritizing that, trying not to get lazy about it, saying I'm too tired and hitting snooze and not going to the gym in the morning. Next one is with school, and I want to get straight A's both semesters this year, so I'm about to start spring of 2022, and then Fall 2022 will be my senior year of college, which is crazy. Like, that is so weird. I feel old. But I want to get straight A's both of those semesters because through the pandemic and stuff, my grades and my effort I've put forth towards school has really gone down a lot. And I really want to get it together, get my grades together, get my school together. I'm almost done. I really want to focus a lot on school this year and just doing better, putting forth better effort. The next one, <laughs> this one is so funny, but it's being more spontaneous and doing more like fun things out of the blue, traveling more. I do have a trip planned for this year, but I just want to do like fun little day trips somewhere or like weekend trips with friends, rent an Airbnb. Just go be spontaneous and go do fun things because I am the least spontaneous person you will ever me like I want to plan everything a month in advance like if you ask me to do something like an hour before we go do it like I will freak out and I'm just trying to like not let that make me so anxious and just trying to be more go with the flow go do things because I know I'll have fun but it's just like the thought of doing something unplanned just like gives me a lot of anxiety. So I'm trying to work on that a lot this year. Um, this next one is kind of a social media one that I miss, but it's staying consistent, which for the most part, I'm decently consistent. But then there comes times where a video doesn't go as planned or I have no one to take my pictures. So I have to go get my tripod and go out in public and take pictures and I just don't want to. Just like those lower points when I just don't feel like doing social media. Just trying to push through those, get content up. Because if I want to grow, that's the only way I'm going to. I have to stay consistent. The next one is to explore my style a little bit more because I haven't talked about this. I don't think but I've just been super as I'm wearing like nothing that has to do with this but I've been really into like western style fashion and I live in Indiana so I feel like it's halfway socially acceptable to dress like that here but I have like nothing like I just feel like I hate my closet right now and I'm trying to explore my style get new pieces go through my closet get rid of stuff I don't wear anymore because I'm so bad about that I'm like super attached to my clothes for no reason. My posture looks so bad back there. I'm just trying to be a little bit more bold with my fashion, trying new fun styles, stuff I enjoy, and just not being worried about what other people think about my outfits. My next one is to read. I wrote this down as one book a month, but I'm going to change it to two. I want to read two books a month because I used to be super into reading, um, especially when I was younger, and I'm just it's not that I don't like it anymore, like I just sit there and scroll and play on my phone when I could be reading or something and reading is just so good for you, it's so good for your brain and I just want to get back into it. Um, I'm almost like halfway done with my first book of the year actually and I have a decent list going because I did a little like question box on Instagram and asked for your guys' suggestions and I got so many. This next one is to me all of my monthly watch goals. I have an Apple Watch and if you have the fitness app, um, I'll go to January's. They do little like monthly challenges. January's is to close all three of your rings for 16 days and it's stuff like that. It'll be like close your exercise ring this many times, close your move goal this many times, just stuff like that and I want to hit all of those each month. I feel like closing all three rings every day <laughs> is a little unrealistic so I'm not going to shoot for that one. 
maybe 2023 we'll shoot for that but this year I want to hit all 12 of the watch goals this next one I've been working on but I really really want to focus on this year and that is watching my mouth and this covers like a lot of things like watching my language I don't really cuss very much um I kind of do it for like comedic purposes which sounds awful and like sometimes it really just slips out but I really don't that often but I want to like completely eliminate that because there's like really no excuse ever and also like gossiping, complaining, just trying to really watch my words and really focusing on thinking before I speak, make sure my words that I say to others have purpose and just really focusing on what I'm saying. My last one I have written down to prioritize prayer which kind of goes with my last one because like when something happens the first thing I want to do is gossip and tell somebody or complain or just like something like that and I just want my first reaction is to instantly go to God and pray about it no matter what it is if I'm having a rough day and someone just said something that really annoyed me go to God first and I just feel like that little like habit Will change a lot with my mental health and also help my relationship with God. So I'm really going to try to work hard on that this year. And yeah, those are all of my 2022 goals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what some of your goals for this year are. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload.